Aaron Bell stormed his way to race one pole position here at Donington with a 1 minute 19.2 lap time, 1.1 seconds ahead of his nearest competitor of McLaughrey in second. Anthony Conway slips in just behind McLaughrey in third. He's followed by Ryan Smith and Owen Kelly in fifth. Keith McLaughrey finished sixth in front of Damian McMullen, Simon Wall, Mark Ivory and TJ Baker in tenth, with Steve Hart rounding off the grid in eleventh, just shy of 40 seconds off the pace. Ladies and gentlemen, very welcome to Donington GP circuit for the RTA Formula 3 Championship. We have Aaron Bell on pole. We have five and six red lights. Lights out and away we go and it seems to be a pretty good start from the front runners overall. We've got some cars moving around at the back. That's uh, McLaughrey who's under pressure from uh, that's uh, Owen Kelly trying to go around the outside. Aaron Bell maintains the lead off the start. Oh, there's a spinner there. That's, that's McLaughrey who's gone off. Ben McLaughrey and then Keith McLaughrey's gone off at the back as well. And there they've gone from what was I think the second row of the grid for Ben McLaughrey right down into second last as now we cut on to a bit further on in the lap. Anthony Conway chasing down Ryan Smith for P2 on the opening lap here. Uh, ben McLaughlin's got past Steve Hart there to no one's surprise because Steve Hart is about as slow as a Tuesday afternoon. Anthony Conway <laughs> is uh, hunting down Ryan Smith still. He had a look there into the Fogarty S's but nothing he could do through that corner. Now he's got Owen Kelly trying to pressure him round the outside into the Melbourne hairpin. Turn 10. Owen Kelly though cannot get that move done, there's just not enough traction there around the outside and that's given Smith a chance to break away and go chasing after Aaron Bell who's already extended his lead to nearly two seconds by the end of lap one and Conway, he's run wide through the final corner there and that's going to give Owen Kelly a run on the uh, on the wheat, wheat, cro wheat Croft straight, that's a very interesting name as I look at my uh, pace notes there. That's that Owen Kelly though, cannot get past him as we go into turn one, there's a car up the inside, that's TJ Baker trying to get a the move done on Owen Kelly for fourth. He can't get it done as we fly through Hollywood and down through the Craner curves flat out until we get to the old hairpin turn four. TJ Baker having a look around the outside. Nothing could be done there, but now he's going to try and get a run through Starkey's Bridge and up through Schwanz curve of turn six. He's uh, up the inside now as we go into turn seven. He's going to have the superior inside line there and he gets the move done on Owen Kelly for P4 on lap two of this race. Ben McLaughlin now in P9. He's just got past Simon Wall and uh, he's going to be... Oh, goodness me, that's uh, that's, uh, that's TJ Baker. Oh, and it's a bit of a dangerous rejoin there from TJ Baker. He's gone off at uh, that cop ice there on uh, the entry. Let's see what happened to him now. This is the move on uh, Owen Kelly on the corner before. And now let's see, is there a hit from Owen Kelly from behind? He goes up into cop ice and no, he's just gone off on his own accord. He's just... Missed his break point, missed his turning point, and that's a one-way ticket into the gravel trap, and then he's got a bit of oversteer on the exit, and that's nearly collected Keith McLaughlin as we ride on board with Simon Wall now, who's in P8. He's chasing down Ben McLaughlin, who's spun at uh, the first corner now. Ben McLaughlin behind Mark Ivory, who's uh, a solid midfield runner in, uh, in this series, and they're all going to be chasing each other down, looking to maybe gain some ground on Damian McMullen, who occupies P5 as we've got... 12 minutes to go in this race. Simon Wall coming down through Hollywood and now through the Craner Curves. It's a wonderful part of the track, this section. Absolutely flat out and then through the hairpin. So much speed through that corner as we come up through turn now, turn five now, Starkey's Bridge and up through this left-hander of Schwanz Curve before we come into, I think it's called McLean's, I think. I think. Now, I can't be sure about that because it seems to be excluded from a pace note. But, no, my, <laughs> my pace notes as now we ride on board with Ben McLaughlin, who's in P7. He's going to be slipstreaming Ivory as we come down now into the Fogarty S's. I'm not sure the name of this straight, but it's a straight nonetheless. And uh, Ben McLaughlin there up the inside of Mark Ivory. That's an easy move up the inside of Ivory into the S's. But Ivory comes back at him. He's up the inside into turn 10, Melbourne hairpin. He gets the move done, but he runs wide. There, that's going to leave Ben McLaughlin with a good run out the corner, and uh, Mark Ivory there. He seems to have better traction. He's going to be moving around behind, behind uh, Ben McLaughlin. He goes up the inside into Goddard's. Oh, and they've touched. They've touched, and they're both off. And Simon Wall's off as well. Oh goodness me! And he's been collected by. Oh dearie me! It's a trip. Oh goodness me! It's beyond words what I've just witnessed. Three cars off, and then three cars off again. That's 
Let's just take a look here. This is Mark Ivory. I'm not quite sure what's happened, to be honest with you. Ivory, who's behind Ben McLaughlin, he moves to the inside. He tries to go up the inside, and he just understeers it to McLaughlin. Too much speed, too little braking, and the, oh, dearie me, it seems like that's Simon Wall, who just got completely collected by a, a Pramer of, uh, of Keith McLaughlin. Rather interestingly, the uh, I think he's the uncle of Ben McLaughlin. You can see there the incident unfold, unfolding just in front of us. All three cars go wide, and then McLaughlin tries to take a slightly tighter line to avoid the collision, and he just completely collects Simon Wall. They meet at a point of intersection. This is Simon Wall coming down through Melbourne. He nearly makes contact with Ben McLaughlin's rear end himself, and now we're just going to see the incident. This is everything that you really need to see. He tries to go up the inside of Mark Ivory. Mark Ivory up the inside of Ben McLaughlin. They touch. All three of them go wide there, rather interesting, rather interestingly. Uh, Simon Wall, they seem to just try to take a bit more of a tight line, give uh, give Mark Ivory some space there, and that just didn't work for him. He met with, oh, goodness me, that's Ryan Smith. Ryan Smith from, I think that's P2 on the grid. He's come back on the track. He's made contact with TJ Baker, who's spun into the pit entry. And what's happened there to, to Ryan Smith is there's absolute scenes unfolding here with just under... Nine minutes to go now. This is Ryan Smith's on... Well, it's it's not an on-board. It's the TV cam of Ryan Smith. He's battling for, I think, P2 here with an incident. And please tell me that there's not going to be contact here. Oh, dear. There very much is. Anthony Conway straight into the back of Ryan Smith at the final corner. Goddard's. And he's just gone straight into the barriers. He's tried to come back on the track with a bit too much... A um, bit too much passion there, and he's just made contact with TJ Baker and spun him. And this is Anthony Conway's on board. Let's see what happened from his point of view. Coming down now into Goddard's. Oh, dearie me, it's a very clumsy crash from Anthony Conway. And you have to say, RTA, road traffic accident. They're keeping up their name. And that's Owen Kelly's on board at the incident. Ryan Smith just being completely speared off into the barriers, no fault of his own. Just getting absolutely rear-ended by Anthony Conway. And uh, it's not my job to tell the stewards what to do, but I think a penalty could be in order there for Anthony Conway. As uh, we're looking at Ben McLaughlin, who's being chased down by uh, uh, TJ Baker there. And now Owen Kelly, who's looking at uh, a very disappointed Ryan Smith, who's now occupying fit on... Uh, on the score sheets, rather than his previous seconders, there's a car spun off in the background. That's, uh, I think it was uh, TJ Baker had a half spin, and Anthony Conway has got a penalty for causing a collision, a five-second penalty. His gap to Damian McMullen in third is currently standing at about, oh, it's about 3.6 seconds-ish, three and a half seconds in and around there. And uh, with seven minutes left, he's going to have to really get on his bike and start pushing to uh, make that make the back that gap. I don't think it's going to be at all possible for him to win this race. Aaron Bell is 10 seconds up the road from him in what is an absolute stonking performance from uh, from the man. And I think this is just going to be a matter of consolidating second for Anthony Conway. Now we're looking at Ben McLaughlin, who's chasing down Owen Kelly in sixth. He seemed to have a good run through the S's, did uh, McLaughlin. And now they come down into the Melbourne hairpin. And that's Owen Kelly running a bit wide. That could give, well, it could have given Ben McLaughlin a good run. But unfortunately, that uh, snap of oversteer seems to have ended that for him as they come through turn 11 of Goddard's, the final corner, and onto the Wheatcroft straight. The start finished straight now. Six and a half minutes remaining in this race. And Ben McLaughlin is being stared down by a hungry TJ Baker, who's, to be fair, had his fair share of incidents in this race. He, um,. Got spun out by uh, Ryan Smith. And I'm not sure if it was... No, it wasn't uh, TJ Baker who spun at turn one. That was actually the car in front of Ben McLaughlin. And uh, the fourth place runner currently of Keith McLaughlin, who you have to say has recovered very well to get back up into fourth position from, uh, well, what was last on the grid in uh, in the first lap. And I, it's the commentator's curse. Keith McLaughlin, as soon as I say that, he's spun out. At, uh, on the exit of McLean's coming up to uh, what corner's that? Cobb Ice. And now we've got TJ Baker up the inside of Ben McLaughlin, who's this is a move for P6 through the S's, and it's an easy move 
for TJ Baker up the inside of Ben McLaughrey as Simon Wall gets past Keith McLaughrey in the background. I can only apologise to Keith McLaughrey as we ride on board with him now. Coming through turn seven and he's just got on the gravel. He's just run too far wide and then, oh, he's just spun it under his own steam there. And that is really not what you wanted to see if you're Keith McLaughrey going from last to fourth and then back down to, I think it's eighth position as he rejoins the track on the exit of turn eight and he spins a third time there. It's, well, it's not quite a spin, it's more a half spin and then he loses the position to uh, Simon Wall there and that's not at all ideal for uh, for Keith McLaughrey there. Now, I can only apologise for the commentator's curse as soon as I mentioned his good position. He uh, spins it into the gravel which is obviously unideal. Four minutes, well, four and a half minutes almost left in this race as we look at Ryan Smith, who's uh, inherited fourth position after Keith McLaughrey's uh, misfortune. He's being chased down by Owen Kelly, who is about 1.4 seconds behind him in fifth place as they come down the back straight now into the Fogarty S's. All nice and tidy from Owen Kelly as we come through the S's. He's going to be chasing down Ryan Smith through the Melbourne hairpin, trying to regain fourth position in this race after I'm pretty sure he lost it. I think he was running P4 or P3 a few laps ago as we now come through the final corner. Three, four minutes left in this race now. Aaron Bell has stretched his lead out to 12 seconds from Anthony Conway. And I'm pretty sure Anthony Conway has got enough lead to uh, take his five-second penalty at the end of the race and still remain in P2. The gap is seven seconds, so it's, well, I mean, one mistake from Conway and it's it's going to be a P3 finish at least. Uh, the gap to Damien McMullen in third is about seven seconds and then from McMullen to Smith is about another three as we ride on board with, well, we don't ride on board with him, but looking at Damien McMullen, seems to be all nice and tidy and under control from the man in the BWT car. Taking a look at Anthony Conway now. He's, uh, oh, never mind. We're looking at Aaron Bell, who's got a significant lead in this race. He's 13 seconds ahead of Anthony Conway. And uh, this looks to be a race in the bag for Aaron Bell. Two and a half minutes remaining in this race. And uh, with a 13 second lead, you have to say it's looking fairly comfortable for him. Using up all the track on the exit of turn seven, coming up into turn eight. And it is all under control for the man who took pole. It looks to be a light to flag performance from Aaron Bell. And you have to say he has managed this race absolutely brilliantly so far. Using all of the track as every good racing driver does. Very smooth, very accurate, very consistent as well. Aaron Bell to stretch out this nearly 14 second lead over Conway in P2. Oh, big snap of over the steer there through uh, turn 10. And now we come up to the final corner. It's uh, a very interesting corner, this. You can't really see the apex from uh, the cockpit of this F317 car. As he comes across the line now, with 1 minute 30 remaining. So this is probably going to be the penultimate lap of the Grand Prix. Well, it's not a Grand Prix, but you get what I'm saying. He looks to have it all under control. Cool, calm and collected from Aaron Bell as he comes down now through turn 2 Hollywood and into the Craner Curves. He's managing the race absolutely perfectly. He's cool as a cucumber, as we can see there. He's happy as Larry underneath that helmet with his 13-second lead to Anthony Conway. Now looking at Ryan Smith, who's chasing down Damien McMullen for third. And he has Owen Kelly not too far behind him. And this could turn into a very interesting race if Damien McMullen puts a foot wrong. We have 40 seconds remaining just about. And uh, this could prove to be the final lap of the race, potentially. As Ryan Smith navigates his way through turn seven and up the hill towards turn eight. Owen Kelly seems to be falling back a little bit. So maybe Kelly is just backing everything down, turning the engine down and solidifying this P5 position. He has a five second gap to TJ Baker behind him. So there really is not much reason to push as I was going to... Start to get hysterical there as uh, Owen Kelly went off the track, but turns out it was just a bit of lag. TJ Baker's being chased down by Ben McLaughrey now for seventh. This could prove to be a very interesting race now 
McLaughlin in seventh. As the clock counts down to zero, we're now on the final lap of the race. Aaron Bell has started his final lap, and as he crosses the line, it is going to be the end of this race. But until then, we have Ben McLaughlin and TJ Baker to look at. McLaughlin nice and tidy through the final corner. He's going to be slipstreaming TJ Baker right the way down the Wheatcroft straight and into turn one of Redgate. Riding on board the nose cam now, you can just see how close to the ground these F317 cars are, making full use of ground effect with their highly detailed, aerodynamically purposed floors. As we fly down now into the old chicane, not the old chicane, the old hairpin of turn four, nice and tidy as Aaron Bell, he rounds the final corner now, and Aaron Bell, from lights to flag, he takes race one here at Donington in the RTA Formula 3 Championship. You have to say all credit to him. Anthony Conway is set to come home in second. Even with his five-second penalty, he's going to remain second. Damien McMullen will come home third. Anthony Conway crosses the line as uh, Steve Hart just absolutely sends it into the, <laughs> into the inside barriers there. Damien McMullen rounds the final corner. He takes third in front of Ryan Smith and Owen Kelly, who solidifies fifth. TJ Baker is going to come home in sixth, just ahead of Ben McLaughlin, who fights him to the line. But it's just a day late and a dollar short for uh, Ben McLaughlin there, who spun on the first corner and arguably that pretty much ended his race from, uh, from the start. He's gone from P2 down to P7. Mind you, it was a good recovery drive as uh, Simon Wall finishes behind him and Keith McLaughlin in ninth. Race one, Aaron Bell takes home the full 26 points and uh, with the fastest lap there. Anthony Conway finishes in P2 with Damien McMullen P3. Ryan Smith, after being taken out, arguably by Anthony Conway, finishes in a fantastically recovered P4 with Owen Kelly behind him in P5. TJ Baker takes home sixth in front of Ben McLaughlin, Simon Wall, Keith McLaughlin in ninth, Mark Ivory in tenth and Steve Hart scoring no points in eleventh. I do hope you've enjoyed that race, folks. I certainly enjoyed it. Not an awful lot of action in uh, the midsection of the race there, but uh, nonetheless, very interesting battles throughout, right up and down the field. Full credit to Aaron Bell. Congratulations to him on winning and taking the fastest lap. It was a brilliantly controlled race from him. And uh, Anthony Conway, who uh, managed to stretch out the gap uh, from Damien McMullen to solidify his second place. Apart from that, I have to thank you all so much for watching this race. I do hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. And uh, you can join me a bit later on for race two here in Donington.